I'm DK. Mecha games, commonly referred to as mech games, are a subgenre of video games that span several other major game genres and focuses on employing piloted vehicles that resemble humans to destroy enemies. They are entertaining, fast paced, and typically available in stumpy or high speed varieties, mimicking the difference between genuine robots and super robots. There is a mech game for every gamers, whether they prefer action games, simulators, or games with compelling stories. Here is a list of the top PS5 mech games. I hope you enjoy the video. Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries Anyone who enjoys moving metal chunks across expansive landscapes packed with anime powder should play this entry in the Mech Warrior series. Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries builds on the series' well known loaded combat while incorporating tactical features for more focused but slowly paced mech combat gameplay. As a player, you will create an army during the campaign to repel invaders and do as much damage as you can. Although many mech games emphasize deliberate movements or fashionable strikes, the game offers the genre with some welcome changes. Because Piranha Games went above and beyond to make the mechs in this game feel like real mechs, you can turn the mech around without having to change your orientation. There are more than 50 mechs, some of which have special features in their armaments. They also offer a few virus loadouts and several adjustable features, making it simple to choose a mech that fits your playstyle. Although learning mech warrior is not easy, the effort will be worthwhile once you master it. 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim The visual novel features hard, enjoyable mech RTS gameplay and engaging characters all come together in this game. This game also has strong narrative, which is uncommon among games with a comparable fusion of genres and techniques. The plot of the novel involves a group of heroes employing mech suits to try to stop an alien onslaught, but the way the narrative develops is what it sets it apart. You won't meet every character at once. Instead, you'll jump between various contexts and periods to learn about each one's life separate. There are many unexpected connections and plot twists in this engaging game. There are three sections to the game. The first is the remembrance mode in which you gradually learn the plot. The distraction mode is the next, where you use enormous sentinel mechs to defend the city. Finally, the analysis mode compiles all the narrative details you've learned during the gameplay. With easy to understand exciting gameplay and stunning graphics, the real-time strategy component is equally fascinating. There are various ways to modify your mech, and each RTS element and campaign speeds different. It seamlessly fuses genres and provides a captivating experience with excellent performance and stunning visuals. The PS5 console can play the game because of the backward compatibility features of the device. Hardcore Mecha Excellent side scrolling action platformer Hardcore Mecha delivers an incredibly captivating tale. The plot, which drew inspiration from Gundam and several other mecha anime games, has some genuinely spectacular moments that are accompanied by sick animation and intriguing character designs. Eight chapters, a total of 18 levels, and well-done cutscenes make up the campaign. The simulation mode, which pits you against endless waves of pose, is unlocked after completing the side quest. In addition, there are online and local multiplayer modes to battle it out with your friends and other gamers. The single-player campaign can be completed in a short amount of time, but the levels are wonderfully varied and expertly created. The video game has a satisfying difficulty curve thanks to the mech's ability to slap, boost, blast, and the option to employ different weapons and angle your shot. Gaining the upper hands is very enjoyable, especially when dealing with more challenging bosses. Even though finishing the game can be challenging at times, the simple mode is a fantastic way to appreciate the plot or pick up the controls. By taking them out, you can gain in-game currency that you can use to buy new mechs and improvements. The appropriate amount of fun is present in Hardcore Mecha, a gorgeous and fluid game that will keep you interested. Override Mech CD Brawl Override Rock and Sock, a beloved childhood toy, comes to mind when playing Mech C3 Brawl. In this 3D arena battle, robots fight on battle builds the size of cities with supercharged weaponry and skills. 
You will take control of one of the 12 mechs and engage in combat against the AI. Your friends in a local or online multiplayer mode for both. But regardless of the mode, the idea is the same. You won't need to memorize complicated button combos or sequences to play because the controls are so straightforward. Each limb has a separate button for control. Kick the left leg with one button while swinging the right arm with another. You can also hold down any attack button to enforce a stronger attack. With four special attacks, a distinct left kick, and a finisher, each mech has identical blocking and basic attacks. Random weapons that fall from the sky can be picked up by both you and your adversary. Shields, swords, grenades, and gatling guns are some examples of this weaponry. Players can choose which task to do between scenes in the story, with each mission listing the reward in difficulty. In Override Mech City Brawl, human opponents are the most entertaining to battle against in local or online multiplayer. Exor Studios published the real-time strategy video game The Rift Breaker in 2022. Players gather resources while depending on creating a network of base constructions around the planet in this tower defense, twin state shooting, and survival game. It requires players to control the character of Ashley, a commando and scientist. Ashley explores Galatea 37, an alien planet with Mr. Wicks, her met to acquire materials for constructing essential base buildings. The structure provides crucial purposes like research, energy, and munitions. They will encounter hostile alien invaders frequently as they attempt to establish a new home for humans. They are dispatched by Mr. Wicks with the aid of a rocket launcher, a sword, a machine gun, and other weaponry. A variety of genres are combined in the Rip Breaker. Players will need to construct a stronghold, protect it via tower defense, and choose their mech suit before engaging in combat. This game is among the top mech games in the PS5 since Exo Studios was able to combine tower defense gameplay with action and real-time strategy features. You will still control a mech suit to engage in combat with both in it. The Rip Breaker is unquestionably one of the best mech games on the PS5, and while the defense systems and towers are present as a, as a strategy aspect, the game's primary focus is action. Stone Ply is a calm action adventure game about legacy, belonging, and self discovery. You will take on the role of Annika Stone Ply, a young mechanic who sets out on a mission to recover her father's stolen expensive machine. Navigate your mech carefully around the threatening wildlife and stunning flora while pending of hungry bugs, memorable characters, and adventures. The fighting is creative. You can destroy both small and giant bugs with cool environment by turning them over and pushing them into the depths. Before taking into account the powers of numerous bugs, horrible pincers, toxic goop, weird spiking plated stuff, ram attacks, and the many strategies, you may use as you advance this two-stage approach is crucial. If you're not close to a drop, you push the insect over, leaping it won't help. You need to prioritize targets while also taking the surrounding environment into account. As the capabilities of your mech increase, your options will expand. The insects can be avoided by pounding the ground, dancing around them, slowing them down, dropping tiny wire bombs or gasting while running. In conclusion, Stonefly is a gorgeously strange game that deserves to be on your list of top PS5 mech games. Bandai Namco Entertainment released Super Robot Wars 30 to mark the 30th anniversary of the Super Robot Wars franchise, which has been around for a while. The protagonist, an original female or male persona, is chosen by each player. You will also get to pick the starting point for them. Players can take their time during the early battles because they are quite simple. For additional information on the gameplay, you can read the tutorial. Similar to any conventional RPG, key components like attack power and HP are necessary and self-explanatory. Other more technical activities are spirit, support, and action. Although Super Robot Wars has a unique plot, you'll see various characters from previous series make brief cameos such as Kabuto Koji from Messenger C, who will join you as allies in this game. Three different currencies are available in Super Robot Wars 30. One for improving your pilot's abilities, 
one for improving your mecha, and one for the race struggle. Even though the mission setup may seem difficult at first, it functions well with the additional DLC and numerous playthroughs. In conclusion, it's a wonderful tribute to the series anniversary. The mech gaming industry has been repeated greatly with the inclusion of Wiretech Fighters, which provides a wealth of space-based mech challenges and battles. Your goal is to defend the galaxy from the evil alien Satros Empire, which is the focus of the major narrative. The game's straightforward plot is secondary to the action, with features enormous mechs and extraterrestrial vehicles. The mission-based gameplay in Wiretech Fighters focuses mostly on employing your mechs to take down the evil guys. However, certain missions rely on stealth and hacking. Additional control choices for the chaos are included in the first-person mode, and the 3D space shooting environment seems ideal for engaging in difficult conflicts. The game looks amazing in the PS5 system because of the unique characters, mech designs, and rich locations. Additionally, the soundtrack is possibly good, especially if you like hard rock and heavy metal. In Wartech Fighters, players can engage in close quarters gunfights or use their sources to slice foes away. The game also features long range fighting. Wartech Fighters, which has a variety of mechs to modify and unlock, feels and looks a lot like the Pacific Rim video game. This is not a bad thing when you're competing for a spot among the greatest mech games on the PS5. One of Kadugawa's game's most ambitious video games is Relayer. Relayer is a turn-based strategy role-playing game, just like Super Robot Wars. The game mostly pauses on narrative and brief forays towards character development. Relayer offers really good tactical gameplay, positional attacks that are available to certain classes, a tone of skills, amazing finishers, and missions that range in difficulty. With its rich customization features, you may shape each character and make out your tastes. Therefore, the majority of your victories can be earned in the preparation menu before you start an engagement. Shooter, Wizard, Fighter, and Tank are the four starting classes for each mecha character combination. However, each can develop into one of four more advanced classes with distinct functions. There is a talent tree for each class that players can use to acquire numerous passive and active skills. You can also buy loot and upgrade various weapons and accessories for your mecha. Attacks are determined by the player's equipped weapons. Beats come in at number 4, followed by rifles at number 3, machine guns at number 2, and swords at number 1. These weapons can only be used to attack at a specific range and enemies can counter-attack if you're using a different weapon. The layer will be a hit with punch of turn-based strategy. Iron Harvest. Before releasing it in the next generation consoles in 2021, Deep Silver first released Iron Harvest for the PC in 2020. Every campaign and expansion previously released over the past year is included in the PS5 edition. The protagonist of the tale is a young woman named Anna Kos, who leads a gang of fighters to save her father from the terrible Roosevelt army. You can command the fictitious Sony Empire. Polonia Republic and Roosevelt troops in the game. Iron Harvest is set in the alternate history around 1920. You can play a campaign with a variety of missions in each European nation. Similar to other RTS games, Iron Harvest offers a mission structure and RTS unit gameplay. As you witness the story develop through the characters' eyes and learn about their loved ones and programs, the campaign gradually takes on a lovely depth. The setting of Iron Harvest is intriguing, and the game's unit and map designs are impressive. It's a fantastic game to play on your PS5 system.